Hi everybody, Captain Dave here. What I want to do today here is I want to show you a little tech tip when using your GoPro. I use the GoPro Hero 2's and what I did is I also picked up the flat lens case also referred to as the dive case. The difference is there's the standard case with the round lens and then the dive case with the flat lens. Okay. Now what I do too is I like to keep it non-foggy. So I found, and a lot of other people have been talking about it, Interior Glass Anti-Fog Rain-X. GoPro is even recommending the use of this. And what you do is you take a few drops and you drop it down in here and I kind of wash it around. Okay, so then it goes all over the inside of that glass lens. I do the same thing with this one, but of course this one's very easy. You'd put a couple drops, wipe it around, and then I take my microfiber little towel here, and then I just kind of wipe the inside, okay, because these, these, both of these, the interior and the exterior Rain-X, could create a little bit of a haze on your lens. But what I have found is when I do take a few drops and I drop it inside and I kind of swirl it around, it, the, the Rain-X anti-fog goes all inside here. And that's what I want it to do. But I had a little problem trying to get any excess out. So what I did is I found a usage for my little desiccant tabs here. What I do is I'll bend the tab and it really helps if they're already sort of moist. Okay, I'll bend the tab and I will take it and I will stick it in here and be able to pick up any of the leftover Rain-X that's in there. This thing will absorb it like a sponge. Okay, and I go in there and I dab and I pick up the excess moisture. So that's a good usage for your little desiccant tabs here. When I'm done, I don't want a haze to be in on my lens. And I found if I take my little microfiber towel and I go inside and I take the corner of the towel and I stick it down in there, and you gotta, it's kind of tough because you gotta get the corner in there. Okay, I get the corner in there like this, and I push it in, and there it is, and I get it in there as much as I can, and I wipe around to get any leftover haze or anything that's inside of my case. But the real tech tip is using your little desiccant tabs here, your little moisture suckers, and you bend them and they will slide right in there and suck up any excess interior Rain-X uh, anti-fog stuff. Okay, so that really works great. Then when I'm done, and on both cases I do this, when I'm done, I take a drop of this and put it on the outside and I just take a really clean finger or I'll take, as I have here, a little tiny, um, you know, little Q-tip, and I'll just kind of wipe it around, pick up a little bit of the excess, and this is guaranteed to haze afterwards. It always seems to build up a little haze afterwards. So then I take my microfiber towel, and I don't press very hard. I just want to take off the haze. Okay, it's kind of like when you when you wax your car. You wax your car, and then you lightly just take off the haze. That's what leaves the wax on there. And I'll tell you the honest truth. Now, I'm not a diver, but I stick my camera in the water all the time. I haven't had really any reason to use these ever since I've been using the Rain-X exterior and the Rain-X interior on all of my GoPro cases. Same thing with this, even though I've got a little 
desiccant type moisture absorbing pad in there. I do the same thing. I drop a little drop in there, kind of swirl it around. Now on this, I can use the Q-tip very easily. And I go in there and I just wipe it around. I take my microfiber towel, kind of give it a little polish. But this case, being that this is the dive case for the Hero 2, and this is basically the standard type of lens on the case of the Hero 3. If you put this in there and you get covered the entire inside of that glass, you're going to have a little residue. I've tried to do it where you can't, you're not going to have any little residue inside there. And these go in and will suck that residue right up. So there is your little tech tip for using the dive case on your Hero 2 or the standard case on your Hero 3 cameras. And the best thing you could ever investment is, is to make sure you always have uh, lens protectors for both your standard case, your dive case, or your Hero 3 case. Keep those clean. And another tech tip is if you actually read the directions on these cases, this metal bar in the hinge, you've got the metal in the buttons and the springs here, and you've got the metal screws holding it on. After a day of dunking it in the water to capture all kinds of fish underwater, what I do is I wash my cases under the sink when I get home. Not right away, I don't do it like right away, but the next day after I'm editing some film, some video, I always wash off my cases and keep my cases really clean. And you know, these cases aren't cheap, but then they're not super duper expensive either. But I don't wanna have to buy another case because that hinge in there is getting all rusty and crusty. So if you have any questions, just post them below this video. Any comments or questions, and I'll try to answer them for you. All right, so that is your GoPro Hero 2 or Hero 3 Black Edition Wide Flat Lens Tech Tip. Thanks for visiting.